prices are going up and up and up. And it's not just happening uh, around us, but also in the car modifying industry. So our prices are inflating. Uh, what's happening in the marketplace? I'm going to talk about uh, the inflation that we're starting to see, if we call it an inflation, um, shortages, and kind of like a market wrap. So let's run that intro. Hey guys, welcome back to another Talking Mods. Now on today's episode, um, it's what's happening in today's marketplace. Um, so as we film this, this is today, I believe May the 10th. Um, and I have been on the pulse of this industry of what's happening. It's actually got our entire team scrambling constantly for the past few months. I feel bad for them. They're working super hard to update prices all the time. We're raising prices. People are raising prices to us. And I've never seen anything like this. In 17 years of running this business and being in this industry, um, I have never seen prices um, shoot up and skyrocket the way they're going. Well, shameless plug, if you don't know the company, it's Mod Bargains, and we carry a wide variety of products all across, you know, suspension, wheels, uh, wheels and tires, all kinds of stuff and so forth. And when the pandemic hit, um, you know, inventory was fairly okay. And then all of a sudden, nothing came in and inventory shortages were abundant. Our biggest inventory shortages actually came from products that were made in like Taiwan, Taiwan and China, right? So um, a lot of the exterior components that we have, those just never showed up. And I think we had so well, first of all, we supply just a ton of bumpers all across the US, right? So we are supplying towards multiple body shops that you guys might visit. Um, they're all buying from us and they're installing it on their car, on, on your cars, or if you've been in an accident or so forth, or some people just want that aftermarket bumper, right? So we had a major amount of shortages. And if I was to put a dollar on it, I'd say we probably lost well over a million dollars just last year. Damn! Now the shortages started to creep up in other parts of the industry. Um, whether it was supply towards dine-in, whether it was supply towards um, in the tire sector from Michelin, all of a sudden there were shortages. And if, and if you're an enthusiast and you've been buying parts the past you know, year and a half, you probably start to run into, hey, is this even in stock? What's going on? And the majority of stuff right now, if I was to put a number, a percentage, and this is kind of going by gut, I would say that the industry is approximately 70% on back order right now. And what's going on? Well, it's raw materials uh, for a lot of these places. Um, they're just not not available, whether it's an exhaust manufacturer, um, just not having the, the metal material that they're bringing in from, let's say it's being brought from China or Taiwan. Um, factories are just not producing as quickly. Uh, the shutdown created a backlog. So a lot of people were just not able to get products over. And we've seen prices now increase continuously. Now, I talked about, you know, the tire, tire margins in a different episode where I said, hey, there's not that much margin. Well, we have to be changing that because when the margins aren't there, we have to constantly be on top of that price. We can't just, we don't want to lose money, obviously, right? And so tire prices, I'll give you guys an example. It was like a Hankook tire price. I believe it was a 19 inch size, which is one of those really good value tires, right? Now, Hankook comes from Korea. So the reason I'm using that is because it comes from Korea. It's not from one place. And what we've seen is, is that same tire, tire A to A, uh, A to A, not A to B, not apples to apples, right? So it's the same tire, same size, same everything, was approximately $600 back in February. If you were to purchase that same tire combination today, you're going to spend about a thousand, a little over a thousand dollars for the exact same tires. That's a huge increase, like massive. There's, there's more inflation going on than, quite a bit more inflation going on than people would have anticipated. And I get it because that's just, you know, for all of us, that's just a ton of money to spend. And tires are something that we always have to have, right? So it's not like some of the modifications that it's just, it is, you know, we don't really need it. We want it and we're going to get there, right? So what's happening? We're seeing lighting companies, especially lighting companies from Taiwan, 
talking about we just got announcement of a 20% increase with a possible 40% increase. We're talking about, um, you know, BC coilovers, one of the budget budget coilovers when we filmed it, you know, it was uh, just a, under a thousand, nine ninety nine, right, for BC coilovers. They're over that price point, and they're talking about another price increase. So we are seeing all across the board increases. Now, shipping has also gone up tremendously, right? So we not only have shortages, shipping prices by all these shipping, uh, you know, for bringing in containers and so forth, which affects all our goods, not just aftermarket goods. You know, they were about, let's say, $2,500 to $3,500, and then all of a sudden it jumped to $8,000, $9,000, and one of our next door neighbors just paid $15,000 to bring in a container full of goods. So now the shipping price has gone up. So what does that mean for you guys as enthusiasts? That means if you have had your eye on something and if the company can, you know, keep that price point for you, you should contact them. If it's mod bargains, contact us. We're happy to do so. But what my point is right now is probably the best time to buy because if you guys resell in the future, that resell MSRP point will be a lot higher. So you're probably going to end up coming out ahead on any of the products that you have, any of the previous products that you have, the, the value you're going to, you're going to have a lot of value retention. So I think that makes a lot of sense. So right now is a great time to purchase. Just be extremely patient. Understand that you need a ton of patience. And I think for any, any of people in our industry, they're going to basically be like, okay, it's not in stock. What would you like to do? Uh, but if you're not going to be patient, it's frustrating for both parties, for you and for them. So just as a heads up, right now is a great time to make, you know, to come out ahead on making your purchases and doing those purchases for your car if you can afford to. So, uh, so that might explain certain things right there. We've got a lot of shortages happening. Um, we're watching it. It's fluid. A lot of pricing uh, updates used to be, you know, within once a year, you know, with the typical rate of inflation, let's say three and a half percent, three percent, but not seven, 10, 20, 40 and, and, and above. So guys, I am giving you guys this information so you guys can make the right decisions. Um, this is across the board. This is not on one thing or another. Um, for example, the bumpers that are, are being sold on our, our website, we are hearing now from the factories that they want to increase prices. They're saying due to raw material cost for them, they want to increase it just, just, the, just the bumpers alone. I'm talking about on raw material, not the shipping increase. That alone is a 40% increase. That is pretty massive, guys. So 40%, add in three times more for a container, prices have now jumped up. So in the global economic scale of things, there seems to be an inflation happening. Maybe it's temporary due to supply, but it seems that it's gonna stick around and it's gonna stay that way. Um, companies that have had inventory, it's pretty rare. Um, but again, we've seen this from Michelin, that's France, Hankook, Korea, uh, Taiwan, China, all of those areas, Germany, and prices have increased. All across, we've seen those price increase. The one price that we have not seen, the one section that you could still find a great value on, in great value in, is in Japan. Um, I haven't seen their prices jump up yet. I'm expecting it to any any day now. So uh, brands that come from Japan, uh, for example, like uh, Toyo Tires and so, uh, a couple other ones, I'm expecting those brands to have a a jump in price. But right now, I've already seen all the consumers just basically switching over to brands like Toyo and Nitto and, and some other ones, just because the value is there. You know, even Falcon um, has done fairly well. Okay guys, I understand that as you're watching this, you're probably thinking after I just said all this stuff, you're probably thinking, okay, prices will probably come back down. No way, they are not coming down, I guarantee it. Prices in our industry have been at an all time low for so long and prices did not increase. So. For 15 years, I barely ever saw price increases, except in tires, which are, tires are based off gas. Watch the tire bit if you wanna talk about tires. But in all parts components, they rarely go up. Now, I guarantee you these prices will not come back down. So once you get it, it's gonna stay there. So that's some of the information. Uh, just a little tidbit. If you guys are interested in working here at Mod Bargains and are in the Southern California area, we are hiring for modification experts. So if you think you're an enthusiast and you know a lot about the industry, we're talking about you know your products and stuff like that, maybe I should do a video about that. I think it'd be kind of cool to see how, how good, uh, how much knowledge do you know. 
and uh, you can always learn more about different you know different brands and stuff that I talk about I'll do some more here on talking mods but I also do it on the mod bargains channel so um, we are hiring again you need to be here in Southern California uh, preferably a college graduate um, and um, you know hit us up on it if you guys are interested now uh, if you have comments I would love to hear it uh, down below we try to respond and if please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so and that's it. That's the end of it. All right. I'll see you on the next one.